are going down the uh, backside of GMR Glendora Mountain Road in my 1996 Mitsubishi 3000 GT naturally aspirated with uh, a few modifications to it uh, some of those including suspension and engine mods um, pretty much bolt-ons um, for the most part on the engine mods well yeah that's it for, the, for engine mods and then the uh, suspension uh, I've got the uh, JIC coilovers um, Atco sway bars and I also have the uh, 3SX lower control arms um, suspension's been fully tuned uh, I am going to actually be going to a uh, Canyon um, specialist these guys they tune their the name of the shop is GMR uh, automotive or something like that um, but they pretty much they, they tune suspensions for um, race cars and they they actually they started up here in the mountains pretty much probably similar to guys like myself who are just uh, enthusiasts really enjoy driving on the sporty side of life and uh, <clears throat> a little spirited and uh, they started tuning and whatnot I don't know a lot of their background but I'm just I'm just guessing that's pretty much how they started they're young guys similar to pretty much around my age uh, I'm about 27 I am 27 so they're about my age and they definitely uh, definitely knowledgeable they got a, a, a few race cars time attack cars and whatnot and um, a lot of times when I come up here at night um, for those runs they're up here that's where I met the guys uh, if you want more information go ahead and contact me on the uh, contact me uh, on the private message um, and I'll send that to you anyways again this we're going down backside I am taking it fairly easy uh, pretty much just cruising down not really not stepping on the gas at all if anything I'm probably riding the brakes harder than I am the, harder than I am the, the uh, gas just because I don't uh, I don't know what's around the corners right now daytime a lot of pedestrian traffic on this side of GMR uh, you typically will not find uh, motor like bicyclists you'll see a lot on this side you'll see a lot more guys riding their motorcycles through here um, but the back bicyclists won't typically come through this area because uh, it's a little further down the mountain and they don't want to ride up it twice to get home uh, so and yeah, you go up the uh, front side and now we're going down the back side <clears throat> Pardon me if I clear my voice a few times. I am uh, getting over an illness, but I am just shooting some video. Came up for a nice drive, as a couple of my subscribers asked me for. So I will. I am planning on coming up here, and believe tomorrow night actually. Um, I plan on coming up here and being a bit more aggressive on these corners and whatnot. Um, so uh, yeah, we will definitely see how my new front tires hold up. You know what, I didn't even bother checking to see what, which tires I got in the front. I already forgot, believe it or not. feel bad there's like lizards in the road but I hope I don't run them over <clears throat> not much you can do though so there's another one and another one I guess it's that time of day they're trying to get that sun baked Now this side of uh, Glendora Mountain Road, this will take you down to uh, uh, East Fort. Well, pretty much we're going down East Fort. Um, the back side of GMR is East Fort. Um, you can get here two ways. You can get to Glendora Mountain Road two ways. You can get up through Lone the the uh, off the 210. You can exit on Lone Hill Avenue, and that will take you. Um, you'll want to go north and. Uh, the easiest way is to follow the bicycle signs. It would say bicycle route here, because a lot of a lot of people will ride their bikes up here, as I've been mentioning. 
So the easiest way to find this place is just to shoot up uh, the 210 towards uh, it, towards Glendora. Not you know, depending on where you're at, uh, you, which would either be I guess the two closest freeways. It's off the 57 and the uh, 210 to be specific. Um, if you're coming off the 605, you're gonna want to go east on the 210. If you're coming off of the 15, you're gonna want to go west, um, and you're gonna exit Lone Hill Avenue. There's a lot of rock slides today. I'm not even able to stay in my lane because there's a lot of rocks in the far right right now. So it's covering even the white line on the road. <clears throat> Good thing I'm taking it easy, huh? They clean this road up very often though, so I'm sure by tomorrow night a lot of the stuff that is here won't be. But obviously it did just rain recently, uh, a couple of days ago, so the uh, soil, the soil's a bit, uh, break, you know, breaking up now, it's a little loose. Water always fuck, always uh, damages the rocks and, well not damages, but breaks all that stuff loose. Ooh, spider in the road, tarantula. I am actually going to stop and record that. So I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go back to where that tarantula is. And I'm going to show you guys some nature for a quick second.